Hello boys, West Brom job in two, Queen's Park Rangers two on Easter Monday. Another game where we bottled it again after being 2 0 up in the first 30 minutes of the game, and there was a protest happening outside the ground for the first 12 minutes of the game when the fans were calling for their owner, who should not to leave the club. It looked like a packed stadium before kickoff, as it was seated in the East End, and didn't really see anyone walk in after the 12th minute. Then it was a different game where QPR were putting us under pressure. It is a game, I think, again, that we should have won. We have gained one point against the struggling Rotherham and QPR side, but and back in October, I remember QPR were top of the league, and we were bottom of the league before Carlos came in, and we had Steve Bruce. QPR did well at the start of the season under Richard Beale since he left for Rangers, and ever since they have been struggling and are in a relegation battle. And they have picked up 12 points in the last 24 games before the match since October. Anyways. Lyndon Dykes for QPR made it 2-0, um, 2-1 I mean, which I thought was a good header and I knew it was coming as they put us under pressure a few times. Then come the second half we conceded again, probably the worst I've seen us concede since Sawyers against Leeds where he scored a miserable own goal. But this time Josh Griffiths, he should have um, kicked the ball anyway really, Chris Martin was in front of him and somehow the ball went into the net and made it 2-2. One of the worst I've ever seen, Josh Griffiths, however. Then the rest of the game, I thought there'd be more game goals in this. Maybe we get the winner, or somehow they get the winner. My thoughts of the game, I think we should have been better, especially in defence. They are not pushing the ball towards forwards enough to keep passing back to the keeper, which I think is leading many mistakes, to be honest. I am not going to turn against Carlos Corburn right now. I think he has done a good job. Wonderful since coming to the club in October where we was bottom of the league and off we think and we can mathematically get into the top six which right now I think is unlikely. I don't think we can get into the top six at all after seeing us play against Rotherham and QPR on Easter Monday. I think it has been a really bad Easter I think for West Brom like last season. We played Nottingham Forest and somewhere we could have gone into the playoffs and we lost 4 0. But this time it is the same again. Somewhere we keep nearing it, the playoffs, thinking, oh, win the next game. We could still be two points behind it. But the other teams like Blackburn and struggling as well, Norwich as well. I don't know. I think we won't get there at the moment. I just do not know. It is Stoke City next away on Saturday after. Uh, a miserable Easter. That's it for episode one of the Match Day Review. This is the Baggies Podcast, which is a new channel where there will be match previews, match reviews, your thoughts of the game, what you think is happening right now at West Brom, your thoughts of the match or other things related to the Albion. And we might get some special guests to interview as well. So that's it for the Baggies Blog Podcast. See you next time where we'll be focusing our attention to the Stoke City game. Goodbye.